Hey guys, it's Ray at Sahara Coins. Uh, we wanted to take a minute and introduce you to all the guys here in the store and maybe learn some fun facts about them too. I'm sitting here with Jason. Uh, Jason, what do you do here at Sahara Coins? Um, I'm part of the buying end. Anybody that comes in, they want to sell their coins or you know get things looked at, I'm here to help them out. I do retail. You know, I do a lot of the stuff in the back, ordering supplies, just trying to help everybody flow better here. How long have you been here? Been here about four years, accumulatively. I love it. <laughs> now, how long ago would you say you started liking bullion or numismatics, and, and what brought you to it? Well, um, I, I started liking it when I started to see the, the pricing, how it would go up in value by holding on to it and not doing anything. To see how you can make money, you know, by just having cool things that look shiny and also they... You know they're they're collectible. Um, I got into it because of an uncle I had. He collected a lot of gold and stuff, and you know I always enjoyed looking at his stuff, and I wanted to have that for myself. Now, if you could give one piece of advice to anybody new that comes into the store, whether they're coming in for bullion or numismatics, what would it be? Uh, I would say to, you know, rather than spend a little bit of money, you know, going out to eat or you know cut a little bit off you know your check to come in to buy some gold or silver start your own collection of stuff that you like you know not stuff that somebody tells you to buy but stuff that that really pops out to you because you're the one that's gonna build your own portfolio in terms of your silver gold and it's stuff that you want to look at and also appreciate you know monetarily as it goes up now enough with all the serious stuff I have three questions for you they're a little interesting, and, and they're not too serious, but I just want to hear your responses. Uh, how do you weigh an elephant without a scale? Uh, I don't have Google on me right now, so I can't answer that. But what was the best thing before sliced bread? Probably Levi 5.11s. They were before bread? Levi Strauss, 18 something. Fair enough, fair enough. Don't quote me on that. Now last thing, <laughs> can you list five things that if we stranded you on an island somewhere, what are the five things that you would have to have to survive? Mm, five things. Uh, let's see, uh, my guitar, uh, toothbrush, uh, let me see, some nice vans. Um, uh, let's see. You know, uh, a grill so I could catch some wild boars and make them into tacos. And <laughs> I don't know what else, man. A flotation device, I don't know. All right, so we've learned a lot of things here from Jason, one of which is if he's ever stranded on island, he's gonna look good and he's gonna be able to eat. So you'll know he's gonna be safe, but we appreciate you watching. And uh, stay tuned, we're gonna let you meet all the rest of the guys.